Hello my dear grade 7 students, welcome back to Mamorana and Cruz channel. So we are now on our module 3 of Science 7 quarter 1. So for today I'm going to discuss to all of you the instructions on how to answer or accomplish the different tasks in this module. So for our module 3 the title is Two Worlds Apart Pure Substances versus Mixtures. So those are the two groups of matter. They are classified into two. The first one are the pure substances and the second one are the mixtures. Okay, so let's begin. So let's skip this part of your module. So we'll begin with the what I need to know. So let's read. So hello, how are you today? Are you ready for another round of learning? In this module, before you will distinguish mixtures from substances based on a set of properties, you will explore the pure substances first. Let's say, for example, look around you. Can you tell whether it is matter found in your environment or even at your home are pure substances, such as the air you smell and breathe, the food you eat, the water you drink, and the other things you see, hear, and feel? Now it is for you to find out with the help of this module. So after going through this module, you are expected to Number 1. Define pure substance Number 2. Describe pure substance based on a set of properties And number 3. Relate the importance of pure substance in real life situations Let's proceed with the what I know part So this will be your first activity for the lesson 1 of module 3 so this is the pretest. So get ready with your papers and pen. Write down your name, your grade and section, the subject, the module number, and the lesson number. And then read each item carefully. Write only the letter of the correct answer for each question. So you're going to number your paper for the what I know from numbers 1 to 15. So you will just write down the letter of your answer. Okay. So that's the first activity. So let's move on. So our lesson one is entitled Pure Substance. So let's move on with our part of what's in. So let us read. In your previous lesson, you learned that a solution is a homogeneous mixture. It means that it has a uniform composition which makes the appearance uniform all throughout. This time you will describe the appearance of other properties of pure substances. Is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? What are the other properties of pure substances? So, yun po ang explore for the lesson 1. So, let's proceed with what's new. So, this is um, the second activity that you're going to do for lesson number 1 of module 3. So, here we have a poem entitled, I am a substance, I am a mixture. So, you're going to read carefully the, the poem. For you to be able to answer the following guide questions. So, we have three questions. So, you're going to answer these questions and the answers are in the poem. So, kapag binasa po ang tula at naunawaan ang tula, kayang-kaya niyo po sagutan itong tatlong guide questions. So, let us read the question. Number one, what is a pure substance? So based on the poem, anong definition ng pure substance? Number two, what are the properties of pure substances? So na enumerate din sa tula ang mga properties ng pure substance. And then for number three, tabulate your answers about pure substances. So ito yung table, kokopyahin tong table. So given the set of properties, appearance, melting point, and boiling point. So you will just write down. The specific characteristic of the pure substance. So, lahat ng sagot dito sa guide question ay makikita po ninyo doon sa poem or tula na binasa po ninyo. So, that is the second activity or second task under what's new. Now, let's proceed with the next part which is what is it? So, let's read. So, pure substances are one of the classes of matter. So, yun tulad po na nabanggit natin kanina. Substances are homogeneous or with uniform composition and appearance are the same all throughout. 
the temperature of a substance is fixed and sharp. So, hindi nagbabago yung temperature. Fixed po siya and sharp. While during melting, a substance melts completely or smoothly within a short period of time. So, let's have another activity or task under the what's new. So, we have here the figure below showing the separating technique for the components of pure substances. Another set of properties that distinguishes, distinguishes substances from mixtures. So, the figure below shows the process on how to separate the components of water. So, the separating technique is electrolysis of water. So, this is water, this is hydrogen, and this is the oxygen. So, after analyzing the diagram or the figure, answer the following guide questions. So, letter A, what is the name of the pure substance H2O? So, I'm sure familiar kayo doon. Letter B, what are the components of water? It's very visible in the diagram. Letter C, in the picture, can we separate hydrogen from oxygen? Answerable by yes or no. And letter D, what is the process that separates components of hydrogen and oxygen of water? So, kitang-kita naman po sa ating uh, figure or diagram. Okay. So, moving forward. So, yun po ay pang third activity natin under, um, what is it? And then, let's proceed with the another activity. Oh, I'm sorry. Hindi pala siya what is it. Ay, tama, what is it pala. Bayan, ang gulo ni Mama Rona. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so another activity for what is it is activity number 1.2. So we have here activity guides uh, 1 and 2 given on the table and on the scenario. So for table 1, it shows the boiling point of two liquid samples. So the samples are named A and B. So given here are the data of the temperature in degrees Celsius. Before heating, after 5, 8, 10, 12, 14 and 16 minutes. So here are the temperatures of liquid A and liquid B upon boiling. Then for the scenario number one, this is about the melting point of two solid samples. So let us read. Chef Matt and his assistant observed two solid samples, solid A and solid B. Both substances are white crystalline powder. They cannot determine which is a substance and mixture just by looking at it. So to distinguish which is which, they heated the two samples using an improvised melting dish. Both the two samples were heated at the same time and received an equal amount of heat. After a few minutes, they had observed that solid A melts completely within a short period of time, while solid B has portions that seems to be not melting. So after um, reading and analyzing Table 1 and Scenario 1, you're going to answer the following questions. For number one, which liquid sample is a pure substance? So you will just choose between A or B and then proceed on accomplishing table one, boiling point of two liquid samples. So you will write down the temperature of the boiling point of liquid A and the temperature of the boiling point of liquid B. Then based on the, the values of the, or the numbers, write down your observation while the samples are being heated. Then answer which liquid sample is a pure substance, A or B. Then for number two, you will pref uh, refer to the scenario number one. So which solid sample is a pure substance? So you will just choose either solid A or solid B. Then fill up this uh, table. Accomplish the table. So sample solid A and solid B based on what uh, you have read, write down the appearance of the two solids and observations written while the two solids are being melted. Okay, so that is for the fourth activity under the what is it. Okay, let's proceed. What's more? So here, you will just decide how to separate the given pure substance. If it's not possible, you will just write the word cannot be separated on the space provided. So if you already if you know the way or technique on how to separate the pure substance, you will just write it down here on the blank. 
or you can just write down numbers 1 to 5 and then write down the technique. If it's not possible, write the word cannot be separated. And then for the another enrichment activity for the what's more. So asama to ng fifth activity. So you will just answer the following question based on the given paragraph. So you have to read the paragraph carefully for you to answer the uh, given question. So that is for the part of the what's more. Ang fifth na activity yun. Okay, let's move on with the what I have learned. So, katulad lang ng mga ginagawa natin sa previous nating module, sa so what I have learned, merong paragraph dito, uh, meron siyang mga blanks, so you're going to fill in the blanks with the correct words given in the box. So, it is a sort of summary of our lesson. So, so what I have learned, pang anin po natin siya, pang sixth na activity. Then, let's proceed with the what I can do. So, here, so, pang seventh na activity natin. So, we're going to identify five pure substances found in nature, supermarket, grocery store, even at your home. So, we're going to complete the following table. You will describe their appearance as homogeneous or heterogeneous. The separating techniques, components can be separated or inseparable. The boiling point para sa liquid na pure substance. So, fixed temperature or temperature different in different times. Melting point para sa mga solid pure substances. Melts completely and smoothly or a portion does not melt. So, it's up to you kung ano pong pure substances ang ilalagay po ninyo dito. So, that is for the what I can do. So, that is our seventh activity for this module. And then, after that, we will proceed with the assessment or the post-test. So, let us see kung meron pong natutunan mula dun sa umpisa ng ating lesson. So, you're going to answer 1 to 15 questions here. So, it's multiple choice test. So, you're going to write down the letter of your answer. So, this is our 8th activity for this module. Pangwala na siya. And then, for the last part of the module, the last activity that we have here is the additional activities. So, what you will do here is you will just fill in the Venn diagram. So, we have, you have to write down the similarities and differences between pure substances and mixtures. So, you will just choose from the phrases given inside the box. And then, you have to make this Venn diagram. Okay. So, that ends our Lesson 1 activities for Module 3 of Science 7, Quarter 1. So, I hope na unawaan po ang ating simple discussion ng instruction kung paano po sasagot, sasagutan yung mga task na meron tayo sa ating module. Okay, that's all for today. Good luck and God bless. Goodbye class.